Inspector Theater. Can I come in? Come on in, Mr. Fire. The door's always open for you. Thank you. You make me feel so warm and welcome. No, this door's supposed to have a self-closing spring on it. It's supposed to close every time. I get it. It's a nuisance. You're bringing the groceries in. I get that. I get that. But most of the things we care most about are on this side of the door. This side of the door is supposed to have a self-closing spring. It's supposed to close every time. There might be some things in here that we care about, like buckets of paint, paint thinner. I have a remote control uh, surfboard, a skateboard, uh, airplane, all that stuff. But inside here, we've got our investments, our um, personal identification, our um, some money, collectibles, jewelry, you know, friends, family, and animals, not necessarily in that order, but the things we care most about are in here. This door should be closing on its own, but that's not why we're here. We're here to yank you around. This is the garage car entry overhead door video. Yay, garage car entry overhead door video. We've been waiting for that. Okay, this control button is too low. This control button is too low. All right. Less than five feet so little hands can get up there. It's supposed to have a warning notice posted on there. So little kids on the bicycle, you don't want to squash them. It's supposed to have a warning notice. It's supposed to be higher than the floor, the floor threshold than five feet. What else are we learning about this? Okay, the optic sensors are not supposed to be closer, further, excuse me, further from the garage floor than six inches, and they are. And then these electric cables that are controlling all the messages and stuff, those are supposed to be insulated staples, and they are not. We have a manual door lock up here. That's not a good thing, okay? You can close that, lock the door, forget it, push the button over that is too low, and it's going to twist your door up. It's going to twist your door up. So this, as long as you have this, and it's operable, as long as you have this, you're supposed to decommission this. The warning sticker that wasn't over there, well, we don't have one on this door either. And on each corner, which has spring tension notices, so that people don't pinch their fingers. Now, this door is supposed to be on a GFCI protective circuit. The age of the system, obviously, they don't. It's going to be interesting to find out where it's plugged in. Oh, there it is. There's a plug up there. It's kind of in a precarious location. All right. So let's test this. On my website, on my inspection agreement, I say that I do not do block tests. Uh, the inspection agreement that I sent out ahead said that I do not do block tests. And in the report, I'm also going the third time, I'm going to say I do not do block tests. I choose not to do block tests for the safety reverse. Do no harm. Now, if the seller wants to demonstrate a block test, I have instructions on how to do a block test baked into the inspection report. This is how we're going to do it today. So push this, download the app button. Huh. That's interesting. Doesn't work. It worked for me when I got here. Reset. It's on GFCI. I take that back. It is on a GFCI protected circuit. All right. Push the app. It's coming along here. My hand. There we go. I broke the beam. We know we've got a safety reverse, and we know that we have GFCI. Testing the sensitivity is very personal to you, so you should handle that yourself. Also, what we've got is this GFCI receptacle outlet up here. It's not labeled as beam, so we've also got up here. We've got an open junction box that should have a cover on it. Those are some other things. It's kind of picking up some spares. And while we're doing the GFCI thing, let's try this. Let's see where else we got it. We don't have GFCI there. We have GFCI here, but not GFCI there. How about that? Any other receptacles? Okay, so we got two wall receptacles in the garage. The upper one is GFCI and the ceiling is GFCI, but the lower one's not. And since we're doing the door thing, you cannot open this door. This door's been decommissioned going into it. Alright, 
coming in here. We've got shelves that have been built into the door. Some interesting planking. And so this door has been decommissioned. You do not have access to that closet. You do have access to this closet. That's where the water heater is. And we're about to have another video.